Hello, everyone. Welcome to Mindset Monday. I think this is episode 2.4. I have to go back and look. Um, so as promised, I wanted to talk about excusitis um, from my book, The Magic of Thinking Big. I'm just going to do a little bit of an intro on it, and I'm probably going to do another video to expand on it. Um, <clears throat> But this chapter, as I was listening, and I'm not done with the book yet, but as I was listening to it, this chapter on excusitis like really stood out to me um, because I think we all, when we're going through something, we all make excuses why we can't do it, why we won't do it, etc. So I'll get into that. Um, you know, we've all been there. And the good news is you can cure yourself of excusitis. So in the book, he calls it um, the failure disease. So um, he says that average people have a mild case of it, but those that just aren't moving forward are full of excusitis. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Excusitis explains the difference between a person that is going places and a person who can barely hold on or just isn't moving forward. Um, and why they, they are full of excuses, why they haven't done something, why they don't do something, why they can't, and why they won't. Um, they feel like they're not doing as well as they should and they just come up with all these excuses why they can't do it. Um, <clears throat> some popular ones are, I'm too old, I'm too young, I'm too busy, bad luck, life, etc. So people that are full of excusitis rely on excuses why they aren't moving forward. Um, so how to cure yourself is thinking yourself to success vaccinate yourself against excuses. And these are his words, um, but I really like the way he words it. So to vaccinate yourself against excuses, I mean, the first, the first step in, in curing yourself is just noticing that you're making these excuses. Just a lot of the times we just aren't aware that we're making these excuses and we're creating our failure. So the four most common that he talks about of excusitis is health, intelligence, age, and luck. Um, and that's all I wanted to get into today so far, um, just as an intro. Um, but those four I can kind of reiterate a little bit, but I'll get more into it later. A lot of times we'll say, like, and I've been here with health, like we just we don't feel well or we're chronically ill and we just say, well, we can't do certain things because we're so sick um, or intelligence. Like I don't have that intelligence of a certain subject. So I just, I can't get into that, but it's like, how do you gain that intelligence? You learn, right? Um, age, age is a huge excuse, too young or too old. Um, We've all been young. Some of us have felt old. Um, I work with older adults and I hear that all the time. I'm too old to exercise. I'm like, no, you're not. <laughs> so I lead exercise with my residents and I, I design it for their age group. And then too young, it's, what does too young mean really? Like you just, you're at a certain maturity. So there's no such thing as too young or too old for anything. And then luck. So we rely on luck for a lot of things, but luck is luck is just a word, really. It's it's like you you want luck on your side, but you're not gonna win the lottery by luck. You know, it's a there's a system to it. Um, but you have control of where your excuses go. Um, or whether you make excuses or not. And that's a hard truth to hear, but we're all full of excuses sometimes, and it's just being aware of it is the first step, and I will get into it more later. Um, 
next Monday. I may or may not do Mindset Monday because I'm going to be traveling back the night before from California. So I'm going to be adjusting, adjust, readjusting to the time. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know if I'm going to hop on next Monday night. Um, but if I am, it'll either be more on this or something else I think of throughout the week. So thank you for watching. And if I don't see you next week, I'll definitely see you the week after. Everyone, if I don't see you before Christmas, have a great Christmas, great Hanukkah, um, or just a good, if you don't celebrate anything, have a good December. See you soon.